Waste pain is an issue in your family. My leg, this leg, waste pain, leg. It's an issue in your family. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. I can't walk. Every female child suffers this. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you. And he has got into a stage that you can't climb staircase. If you want to walk, look as if your knee wants to buckle. Somebody help me today. I would have rolled from that place down. From down to that junction, I had to climb the stairs to go and enter a taxi. It was an end that I would have and rolled down. the Lord down. has visited you now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Fire the mother of Jesus Christ. Leave her. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Fire the mother of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can you tap her back three times that way? Tap, tap the back three times. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay, look here. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. That's question from Jesus. Touch it. Okay, look here. Twist. Stand up. Okay, twist like this. That's good. Oh, yeah, go. Go this way. It's over. It's over. It's over. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Elohim. Glory to God in the highest. Um, I want to bless the name of the Lord for what he did in my life last week. That was my first time of coming here last, last week Sunday. And God in his mercy located me. My name is Mrs. Nana Dorkur. I came from Kaduna, originally from Plateau State. The man of God gave me a prophecy concerning West pain. That has been the issue. I was going through a lot concerning that waist pain. And he said, that has been in the family. And I confirmed them to be 100% to be correct. I have sisters that are going through the same thing. And in my own case, God located me last week in his mercy. And I thank God. That's, that has eaten a lot from me. It started, I cannot say the precise time, but um, I am a stylist. At some point, I had to stop. I could not sit to plait. I could not sit to fix nails. I stopped it completely. I was thinking it's something I could go to the hospital and it would be over. I didn't know that it's, it, it's, it's far beyond that. If I'm pregnant, to sit down is a problem, my back. As if there's a particular thing that has been fixed there. So excruciating pains, pains. And from that, it's like it's developing from one stage to another. From waist pain now, it has developed to both legs. Most especially this right leg. It's so difficult for me to walk. I can't lift it up. So in my house, if I want to walk, I'll be holding a couch that's cushion to be able to link to the other side. It's so painful, so difficult. For me to cross the road, I'll help. So I will have, if I see anybody around, I'll call the person to help me. I have tried so many things. I have done two x rays. The first one, the doctor cannot explain what he's seen in that place. But he was just pointing at the, the waist. He said, something is here that I cannot explain. The second one, the doctor told me, the x-ray was showing as if my, from my spinal cord, from these ribs that join to the spinal cord, as if it's not balanced. One is, something, something is not just right. Something was not just right there. He said, he told me that, madam, 
the 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 bone the bones from my spinal cord here this ribs that join to the back something was not just right it's like one is it's like there's a shift so the doctor told me madam there's nothing we can do concerning this case the only thing is i'll give you pain relief anytime you feel this pain you buy these drugs and take and that was it i have been i try supplement I will do, he show me some exercises that I could do that will help me. I've been doing exercises, but there was no solution. And uh, on last week, because of uh, induction, I just secured a job with uh, NAPTI, that's paramilitary. I was wondering how I was going to do that job because I, I, I have to be up and doing for me to do that job. So when I came to Abuja that very Sunday, it's like I will come. It's like I will not come. I don't, something was discouraging me. Then my sister told me, go. Go, since you've already made up your mind. Just go. Maybe today is your day. At the gate, my daughter, when she was about to open the gate for me, she told me that, is that going there will not be easy for you, but God is going to locate you. And it's true. When I drop at Danta uh, Junction, I'll, ha I'll have to cross to the other side of the road. My shoe were cut. I, <clears throat> I attempt climbing that place. It's like I will fall from that place to that because of the leg. The leg is so stiff. If I move one, before I move one, it's difficult. And I was in pains. Then somebody, God brought somebody. I told the person, I said, help me or I can't go up. The person tried and held my hand. That was how I crossed to the other side. He helped me stop a vehicle. I came here barefooted. I was not wearing shoes on my legs. I came like that. I told God, I will come. I met a brother there. I asked him, where is uh, was my darling ministry? He said, he's going there, I should come. And I told him what happened to me. He said, just open your, your heart to God. Today is your day. So I gave one mama at the gate there. I dropped the shoes with her. She told me the same thing, that today is your day. And truly, when I came, God is in, in his infinite grace and mercy located me. And I was delivered. Glory be to God in the highest. Well, you say you were delivered. How do you mean? What were the changes you noticed? And how far up to today? That pain in my waist. This part of the leg is like, somebody told me it's paralysis. Because this part is heavy. I, for me to lift this leg up was so difficult for me. Depends. You, the, if you watch this, that prophecy very well, you see where the man of God was telling me, hold your, your big toe. That part of the leg is like something is moving there. there. There's one sensation that I used to feel. You, I would feel like something is moving. Something, it will disappear a while. Later on, it will come back again. I see something, something is moving. But... After that prayer, on Tuesday, I went for induction in Federal Secretariat. I was able to sit for good eight hours, something I could not do. I sat for good, in a while I could not do that, I could not sit for good two hours. Is it that I lie down? It was so difficult for me, but I was able to sit for good Eight hours, people of God, we, you stand up, you sit up, you stand up, you sit up. I give glory to God. I give glory. Clap for Jesus Christ. Before now, for me to bend like this, for me to bend was a war to move this direction. <laughs> for where? Like this. To go like this. For me to squat as a woman. To do my normal house chores was a problem to me. But I thank God that today I am free in Jesus. We'll rejoice with you. And finally, with what God has done in your life, what is your promise to God? My promise to God is to serve him for the rest of my life and to live a life free of sin in Jesus' name. Clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To live a life free of sin. That is the greatest promise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you.